And with me now is Acting Chief Executive of Cavan County Council this week, um, Brendan Jennings. Brendan, what can I say? Fantastic, fantastic show yesterday and today. Yeah. Good afternoon, Anya. Yeah, today is going very well. There's big crowds in here again today. Um, it was a little slow at times yesterday, but that's quite normal for the Friday event yeah. with a lot of people working. But they're coming into their droves today, despite the weather. And despite maybe the, the weather, there's some serious showers yeah. out there. Well, yeah. It's very heavy this yeah. morning, but again, it shows under one roof it's yeah, quite absolutely. successful. So it's, um, the numbers are growing steadily this afternoon. Yeah, you were saying there, just how, as you happen to say, under one roof. And uh, we are so lucky to have like three three big areas all under one roof. It's like a little village, really. You well, couldn't you could not ask for better than the Equestrian Centre. It is that on you. It is one village. There's three huge arenas here, and obviously, focus in this arena one is very much about the food. And Upland arenas two and three. We've our demo areas, but there's lots of variants up there. And the new initiative for 2019 was the new wellness area. We had a lot of um, informative talks yesterday on our nutrition and looking after our bodies. And That's a new departure for the show this year. Yeah. 2019, I suppose it gives something different. And obviously, food is the focus, but food impacts on our bodies both positively and negatively. So those talks have been very helpful yesterday. We've more of them today, but we've added a new element today. Is the fashion show. And the first Very fashion show is happening up there, up there right as now we speak, speak, and yeah. huge crowds going up. Yeah. We've had to get a lot of extra seating in for it, so it's quite Very good. good. Um, so again, to get back to producers, um, and a lot of the people that I was speaking to, interviewing in the last few days, were saying, my gosh, my goodness, I was not aware, we were not aware that we did have so many producers in Cavan, in Ca County Cavan. Yeah, well, not is, until you see them all under one roof, you really re realise what we have. Yeah, Cavan is an agricultural county, as we know and it's a very strong agricultural industry, a very successful industry here as well. And I suppose our role in Cabin County Council is to try and promote everybody and one of the areas we've been focused on in recent years is the whole area of food production. Um, as part of that we set, developed our food strategy in 2017. In 2019 we're setting up the Food Network. And it's not just Cabin County Council, it's everybody involved in food, right from the fork, sorry, from the farm to fork, I should be saying. And our network is, I suppose, is growing throughout 2019, and they're um, arranging a number of events. I suppose this is pretty much the largest event you could have. Yeah, I was going to ask you about the food strategy, but you're also talking about the um, the cabin food. What is it? The food network. The food network. I can't read yeah. my own words. I suppose one of the key actions yeah. coming out of that strategy was developing a network. I suppose the people involved in the food industry, um, in cabin. I suppose we need to take a bit of an ownership, work together as a team, because they're all dependent on each other. A producer needs somebody to sell it, needs somebody to distribute it. They need the shops, the super values, the dons, the local stores to sell their produce. So everybody has to work in unison. We're there to try and steer them, work, get them working together, and that's what Cabin Food Network was, to get, was set up to do. Um, some very strong individuals, very strong um, units among that network, and it's great to see, and it's really going to put Cabin Food on the map. Excellent. Now, uh, I hate to mention the bad word, but um, we do have Brexit looming up on the 31st of August of, of um, October. And uh, speaking to Nevin Maguire about it earlier, and it just it basically says that it scares him. It scares us all. It does. Because we just don't know. There's a lot of unknowns out there with Brexit. And if you're in the business community, there's a lot of risk. And it's, it's both sides of the border that risk exists. So it, it's up to everybody to... Um, I suppose inform themselves. Our local enterprise office have been doing a lot of training, providing a lot of information out there, and they still That's are That's the key doing word, that. providing information. And the local enterprise office are here, you know, very much pushing out the Brexit message. We're here to help, we're here to guide. Um, but again, through our strategy and our food network and everybody working together, we, everybody gets strengthened by that. And the whole food industry in Cavan can, you know, prepare for that looming Brexit. Okay, so let's talk about some of the things that are going on during the festival, the two-day festival that is the Taste of Cavan. We've got the Taste of Festival food trail in town, and we mentioned yep. that earlier, and that is where um, some designated uh, restaurants and cafes around town have got a special dish on offer for just five euros. Uh, and that's going on all through yesterday, today and indeed tomorrow. But also as well, you've got the, the award coming up as well, and you're having a meeting this afternoon. Yeah, well, our, our food trail is happening obviously today and tomorrow and during the week in some of the places and that's working in conjunction with the businesses and the, the retailers in Cavan Town and Cavan Chamber of Commerce and they're working very positively with, with us here in the Taste of Cavan and there's benefit for everybody involved so we would hope that everybody's here over the last two days are going to get into Cavan Town tomorrow and yeah. over the course of the coming week and see what's good about the food here in Cavan. 
terms of um, the foodie destinations, mm. we were shortlisted in 20, um, 2018 as the top 10 foodie destination in Ireland and something to be very proud of. We weren't successful in 2018 and again we've been shortlisted for 2019. So the judges are coming here this afternoon, they're coming to inspect us. So maybe we could be breaking some news later yeah, on. Hopefully, no, it's towards the end of August before oh, there will be any right, announcement, okay. but today is one of the assessments that's taking place. So we're meeting with judges here um, this afternoon, so hopefully we'll put on a good show. Absolutely. Now you want to talk about as well, now that is just one little thing I did hear bandied about is that um, just at the equestrian centre is that quarter of a mile outside Cavan Town and it does take the footfall outside of town but then the upside to that is where else would you get such a, such a, such an, a venue, that you, it's like a little village here in itself but again it's only a quarter of a mile from town, Cavan Town is partaking in the food trail and you can avail of that tomorrow and as you say some of the places are doing it all either last week or next week. So it's not leaving Cavan Town out of it either. It's not. Obviously, being out of the town centre is a concern for us because we, you know, we want to promote the town centre and all our towns across the county as best as we possibly can. This is a fabulous facility, and it's a shame not to use it in the way we have. And I suppose we've learned a lot from developing this festival across the number of years. But as part of, do, of doing that, we've introduced a free bus. So we have a regular bus going in. It's free of charge. For it was a train a couple of years it ago. Was we a had train, a train. <laughs> possibly the bus has been a bit faster. <laughs> So the bus is going in continually, we know yeah. so all afternoon it's full. It's full buses coming That's here great. every half hour or so, yeah. so it's good Although to the see. parking outside is, is just, it's, oh, it's just, it's huge just parking it's huge. huge. Yeah, it's great yeah. for that and the, the, the guys that organise it outside yeah. are doing a wonderful job. I was speaking earlier yesterday to Andy Pierce. You know Andy is a great yes. advocate for working for Cavan Town and for doing everything for, for local businesses in the town. And we just commented on that Cavan Town is one main street. Uh, one main street from say the cathedral right up to, to spec savers at the yeah. top and wouldn't it be wonderful now and you are on the council and you are where planning and everything happens like that wouldn't it be wonderful if we could make that one big long shopping arcade yeah. and have every building used and it all sort of sort of uh, designed to look like one nice thing one way up the street yeah. wouldn't that be nice it's great is that a crazy plan oh, look at this a lot of things can be crazy <laughs> and a lot of things can be worthwhile too look at it's the concept that's been thrown out there for the last number of years I suppose that was tested during the time of the flag when the part of Main Street was put, we put a roof on it. Yeah. Uh, there's pros and cons to doing anything like that and obviously there's significant cost to it. Um, if we could only trust the Irish weather, we could do all yeah. of this in the town centre, but I suppose the weather this But weekend, I'm just saying from the, from, from the business's point of view and shop fronts and things, the uniform shop, not uniform them, but uh, customise them or whatever the word is, get them to look like a certain, you know, Yeah. Thing. Maybe that's, I think it would be a good idea. And that's where the Cavan Chamber of Commerce it can really come to the fore, working together, strength mm. in numbers, and develop ideas. Because it is a, a unique little town. It is a small little town. It's a lovely little town. It's, little town. it's, it's historical town. and it's laid out the way it is. We can't change that. that yeah. Like most regional towns, there is a certain format that you can't change. But it's what you can do and what can you adapt within that. And I suppose our, as part of our urban regeneration, this is not going to be happening over the next number of years. We'd love to work with every business and the Chamber of Commerce to try and bring We'll the keep that forward. one on the boil. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So um, a lot of work is, has gone on in here and I know that probably you are starting to work on next year's festival right after this weekend but a lot of hidden work that goes on behind the scenes here today and uh, a lot of people are working volunteers and you'd like to thank a lot of people. Absolutely, you know an event like this could never happen without the people who put their effort in. This starts at last September um, preparing for this event. As I said there's a lot of new ideas with the wellness so that took a lot, you know there's a lot of learning in that. Um, but without the staff, I suppose starting with staff at County Council have put huge time in, particularly over the last three months. It's huge effort for the normal working hours and outside of working hours trying to make this thing happen. A huge amount of time goes into it and every one of them needs to be majorly congratulated for that. Together with that, we have a large number of volunteers. This would not work without them. We cannot man every door and every clean every table. If you just look around this year, the amount of people it's, it's in amazing. the orange Everybody's vest, enjoying all, all the work. Yeah, Again, they enjoy the yeah. being, they enjoy being and part people of feel being safe and there's nothing out of hand anywhere everything's everybody's ticking putting over on the new really jersey well. for cabin town yeah. for cabin county and they want to be part of it and it's great to see everybody's happy the customers are happy and from a juice perspective they're buying so mm. that's good news well so far so good and we only have to go to six o'clock this evening six o'clock this evening that's when the cleanup starts that's when that's when more hard work more starts hard work that's when the volunteers happens. really come to the fore well, Brenda, what can I say? Um, well done to Calvin County Council for putting it together. It's a great fee. Everybody, everybody feels good here. Uh, it's looking good. 
Um, and if you are here, you can, it smells good as well. <laughs> And uh, I hope we look good. I hope uh, Irish Web TV have brought a taste of Calvin to people who can't be here today, uh, which would be great if they could get a taste of Calvin. So we say well done and well fair play to all around. Well, before we finish up, we remind everybody Calvin foodie destinations to don't be afraid to vote for Calvin. Get on foodiedestinations.ie and give Calvin your vote and vote up. And there you have it, folks. Vote for Cabin for your foodie destination. And we do hope that uh, you enjoy the rest of your taste of Cabin. Thank you very much. Thank you very Brenda much, Sonia. for talking to us on Irish Web TV. Thank you. Thank you.